It is Gallon Burger Week, and we are here for that. We're here, just here for the burgers? That's true. And we're starting out a big day, seven burgers in one day, if you saw the video last year. Today we've got Connor with us, and we're going for eight. That's right, we're going big or we're going home. But where else would you start out big? The Little House of Pancakes. Let's go get this thing started right now. Burger number one, Little House of Pancakes, Pete's Poppin' Burger. I'm holding a lot of doors today. Ladies first. <laughs> Burger number one. Stay tuned to the end of the video for a Gatlinburg giveaway. Well, we're gonna start out at the Little House of Pancakes with Pete's famous poppin' burger. So yes, breakfast is served, and breakfast is a jalapeno popper-inspired burger. All beef patty, smoked cheddar cheese, pickled red onions, sweet pepper jelly, two bacon-wrapped jalapeno poppers that are stuffed with cream cheese, and a serving of fries. All right, so you're gonna cross section this first burger for us. Yeah, burger number one. We started our breakfast off with a jalapeno pop burger, <laughs> guys. <laughs> yes. And the jalapeno popper is in there. Oh, oh, I lost a piece of bacon. All right, I'm gonna be the first. Ladies first. Ladies first. All right. You start us off. Gotta make sure I got it lined up for- You are kicking it off with a bang. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. What's going on in there for That's you? That's rocking. <laughs> yeah. The jalapeno hits you immediately. Okay. It is not too hot. Yeah. You taste that jalapeno flavor. Yeah. The bacon is crispy and yummy. I love the red pepper jelly and the cream cheese. Oh, yes, please. I don't know. That sets a high bar for number one. Okay. <laughs> All right, Connor man, you are the second to try Pete's Hollow pop Poppin' Burger. I'm immediately going for that burger. Oh, he's going for it, man. He ain't wasting mm -hmm. no time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's big. Yep. You went so, all in on that. You immediately get the kick from that jalapeno. But that cream cheese kind of pulls it down a bit. Gives it a bit of a milder flavor. You can taste the meat and the cheese. Those pickled red onions give it a bit of a sour bite to it. Nice. What do you think? That's a perfectly good burger. It, it is, I agree. <laughs> That's high bar for high. number one. Yeah. High bar for number one. All right. Well, try a fry. Good crispy fries. Okay. The mix of red pepper jelly, cream cheese, and jalapeno makes that an outstanding burger. And then the bacon adds a little extra meaty flavor to it. That's really good stuff right there. High bar for number one indeed. All right, we're off to number two. Where will it be? So now that we have completed burger number one, we're going to go into the Visit Gatlinburg app and we're going to enter the secret code so that we can get credit for our burger here at the little house of pancakes our server gave us a secret code and we need to go into the app gatlin burger week and find little house of pancakes and check in there and give the code and then we will be entered for burger number one burger number two at the vista grill 
The Brisk to Tower Burger. Burger number two is at the Park Vista. We're in the restaurant, which is the Vista Grill, and this is the Park Brisk to Tower, and it is a towering burger. That's an eight ounce beef patty. There's brisket, smoked Gouda, pimento cheese, barbecue aioli, fried onions, lettuce, green tomato pico, and that's on a brioche bun with a pickle. Okay, babe, you have to cut that monstrosity that is a big, big burger. <laughs> this burger is crazy. It has everything but the kitchen sink on it, I think. Kitchen sink's on here too, I think. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, yes. We have managed to cross section the burger. <laughs> Can you manage it's to, gonna to be... show it to us without being messy? Nope. It's completely messy. Oh. There comes the burger bun. <laughs> Holy cow. Look at brisket on top of the patty. That's absurd. Can you see and that? And awesome at the same time. <laughs> okay. This was one of your requested places, so you get to try it first. Okay. I need a napkin. I do need a napkin because this is going to be ridiculous. I'm not even sure it is possible. Yeah, this burger's a mess already. <laughs> Holy cow. We should have brought bibs. We should have. Could have buried them from the ground, baby. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> You're so crazy. <laughs> I'm totally putting the plate over because. Connor's over here sneaking fries. <laughs> He's allowed. <laughs> Mm. Holy cow. Literally? Literally, holy cow. Okay. Brisket is super tender. The beef patty is done very nice. The, the smoked Gouda pimento cheese. I'm not picking up the barbecue aioli right now. And I'm not picking up much of the fried onion. You don't need it. Texturally, this burger is fantastic. And the smokiness and the flavor overall, I gotta tell you, yeah, this was a good call. Okay, I guess we will see. Well, Connor and I will make our own deci deciding uh, opinions here. Mm hmm. All right, you guys take a bite. Wow, I'm like impressed that there's actually brisket and everything on this. Connor side. went all in. He didn't wait on you. Mm -hmm. He was like, no, nah, I'm going. Mm. <laughs> well. Mm. <laughs> wow. Wow. It is a napkin burger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. I have to go one more time because there's a lot going on. There is a lot going on in that burger. Connor, while Mama C's taking a bite there, what do you think? So that is an amazing burger. Yeah. I would have thought that with all the things on it, that it would have been too much or it would have been too many things all at once. Yeah. But it's actually really well balanced it's got what's the thing you're picking up the most what are you tasting the most i think i'm getting that uh green tomato and that really the most actually okay uh, that's in there for sure you do taste that yes. that tanginess uh, of the pico yes yeah. um i don't taste the barbecue aioli i'm like you um the brisket and the beef itself yeah is is top quality 
Yeah. Delicious. I have to take another bite. Um, smoked <laughs> Gouda. Oh yeah. I'm not necessarily gouda. tasting smoked Gouda, but it's very cheesy because it's got. Um, mm -hmm. Oh no, it's pimento cheese. Never mind. It's smoked Gouda pimento cheese. Yeah. So I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm tasting that. that. Up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a really good burger. It is. Yeah. It's really you know good. I thought it would be too much. Mm -hmm. I think you both did. Mm -hmm. And it's actually really good. I had my reservations about it, but... Wow. So we're all in agreement. This is really, really good. Yeah, I was a little hesitant. Do we think it's Fried surpassed good. number one so far? I don't know. Do you have an opinion on That's that? That's really hard. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for an opinion. Um, I, I'm you have saying, a thought on that, Connor? You're abstaining? I actually think this is a close second to... The previous burger, I think uh, yeah. the one at the Little House of Pancakes still beats this one just by a little bit. I'm, I'm kind of with him on that. Um, okay. Mainly because uh, at the Little House of Pancakes, it was a little more coherent and it had less going on. Yeah. So it managed I, to keep all that together. And he described that everything. perfectly. Good job. Good yeah. deal. Okay. All right. But this is really, really good. It I mean, this good. is a man's man's burger. That is a man's burger. <laughs> it is. Well, on to number three. On to number, on three. number three. Burger number three is at the Park Grill. It's the mac and beef burger. Burger number three. Three. It's the Park Grill. Park How grill. are we feeling after just two burgers? How you feel so far, sir? Still pretty good. Still pretty good, he says. You got room for more? Yeah, so, so. Oh dear, we're only on number three. <laughs> Told him after next, we're halfway home. So, yes. I'm pretty full already, so we're gonna see. <laughs> yes. We're at the Park Grill, and this is the mac and beef. So it's an eight ounce patty, medium well, lettuce, tomato, onion, and pickle, melty American cheese, and right in the center of that are deep fried mac and cheese bites. All right, let's get into the mac and beef here at the Park Grill. Mac and beef. There are homemade mac and cheese bites. Yes. On this burger. Now they're using ciabatta bread for yes. the bun. Which is the first one we've had like that today. Get a cross section. Oh, I got mac and cheese bites falling <laughs> out the side. Mac and cheese bites are falling out the side there. <laughs> Stuffing it back in. Stuff that burger. Oh gosh, this is it's a difficult one to handle. <laughs> but you can see the mac and cheese bites you in sure there. You can yeah, look at that. Cool. That's a beautiful burger. Right. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> uh oh. Hmm. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Wow. Okay. This was another one I wasn't too sure about because of the mac and cheese bites. And you know, maybe that's too much. Yeah. But they are really good. They are like a sharp cheddar mac and cheese. Sometimes oh, okay. mac and cheese bites are a little bit bland. Yes. Not the case with these. The meat is very good. And then the veggies are just kind of just nice. The American cheese is the perfect addition. This is a little simpler than their burger last year, but it is good. Okay. I really like it. I'm gonna try a bite of this. Okay, Connor. Let's All see right. what you think of the big, the mac and beef. <laughs> That's a good name for it too. Mm. Mm -hmm. Did you get some of that uh, delicious um, cheese, cheese, mac and cheese yep. bites? Yep, he did. 
Oh, that's good. It goes on his lips there. <laughs> so, the veggies give it a nice flavor. Give it a nice bit of uh, crunch. A nice yeah. bit of crunch with that wise mud onion and everything. I actually like the addition of the mac and cheese bites. Yep. It gives it almost a bit of a savory, cheesy flavor to it. A bit of salt, a bit of saltiness. Yep, that's what I thought. You can still taste the beef though. Yeah. I like that. My key gripe with most burgers is when they add a bunch of ingredients and stuff like that, it's harder to taste the beef. This does not have that issue at all. You can very much taste the beef. Absolutely love that. The beef pairs well with the cheese and the vegetables and all that. Perfect. Good deal. All right, it's your turn, Mr. Brooks. Okay, my Brooks. You gotta tell me what you think. Okay. Tell the people what, what you think. Freshness of the veggies is very apparent in that, mm -hmm. and I do like that. The ciabatta bread is actually very nice. Yep. It's not toasted too much. That's actually just a perfect bread. But the thing that I like the most about that, as good as the mac and cheese bites are, Connor's exactly right. That beef, is that's the best burger patty yeah, we've had so far. It's a very high quality That is high sure. quality ground chuck, and that's done right. All righty, we'll be going on to number four. On to number four. <laughs> okay, Connor's got to go home because he could only be with us for uh, the first three, but he wants to tell us what his favorite is so far. So, I actually have a close tie between favorites. So, for creativity, I'm going to have to give it to the mac and beef specifically because I've never even imagined the thought of mac and cheese bites on something like a burger. However, when it comes to terms of flavor and coherency, I'd have to give it to the Pete's Poppin' Burger. The Little House of Pancakes. Little House of Pancakes, yes. Okay. okay. Burger number four is from Boudicca's Celtic Pub. It is the Scottish Bonnie Burger. This is the Scottish Bonnie Burger from the Deepest Celtic Pub. Winners of the last two Gallon Burgers. 100% Angus beef with a Scottish egg inside the beef patty, a grilled tomato, basil and Irish cheddar cheese, drizzled with that Guinness aioli sauce, fresh spring mix that is done on a potato roll with Kerrygold's butter toasted, and they did, Adam actually gave us a Scottish egg to show you on the side. We've got our rain survival kit over here. Yeah, it's, well, it's, it's, it's calming down again. It's been raining all day, on and off. Yes. There's a gherkin on top. Yes. Cutting into the burger here, a little cross section. Now you'll see the Scottish egg. Use a potato roll, carry carry grilled with carry gold butter. Right. Great Irish butter. Oh my goodness. I see that. Oh that is fantastic. I want you to see that. Oh that's killer. So the Scotch Scottish egg is a pork Irish sausage. With a soft boiled wrapped around a soft boiled egg. Egg. Let's try it. Alright. Let's go. <laughs> this is different. It is. Mm. Wow. 
basil in that, isn't there? Yeah, I said basil, yeah. There's basil with the grilled tomato. <laughs> yes. Such a wonderful mix of flavors. I wasn't sure how I'd feel about the Scottish egg. Oh, yeah. It's really good. Like that? It's messy. It's a napkin. Oh, yeah. But um, the burger itself is delicious, and the fresh veggies and that basil kind of just adds a lift yes. to the flavors. Yes. And of course, you taste that butter and that potato roll. Yeah. Done again. Okay. Okay, so Adam gave us a half of a Scottish egg, which there is a half of one of those in the burger, as we showed you. Yes. But he wanted to show y'all what that oh, is, fine. and that is like a Irish delicacy. Irish sausage, which has been deep fried, and then there's the soft boiled. It's wrapped around. That was really that good. Soft boiled egg. So let's try this first. Right. <laughs> wow. Super rich and yummy. <laughs> that is crazy ridiculous. So now, cheers, Vadika. I'm going to remove a little bit of spring mix here. Now I'm curious what you think of the basil because I really liked that lift of of light and like a light citrusy almost flavor. It's rich. The Irish cheddar, yeah. the potato roll, and that butter is just, ooh, it's so silky. And then, boom, Guinness aioli <laughs> for the win. Because that is amazing. So, Benicus has, uh, I may go three for three on this. So, we're through number four of seven burgers, possibly eight. And I mean, in case my upper GI doctor wants to see me, I'm going to tell him, don't worry, I did good on this. Matter of fact, scope this. Tom's gummies. That's right. Tom's gummies. Because when your stomach needs a good coating, but yet you'd like dessert after seven burgers, Tom's gummies is the way to go. There's no chunky residue, none of that, but all that good fruity flavor. And it just makes your upper GI say, <sighs> by the way, this is not a paid promotion, but Tums, hit me up because I know that acid reflux is going to hit me up later on. Burger number five is from Pucker Sports Grill, the Pucker Smash. Okay, we're at Loco Burro, which is also serving as Puckers. Puckers. And burgers five and six. I'm at six. How you feeling? The weather's a little crazy. Yeah, it's very rainy downtown Gatlinburg. And I had a, uh, a gentleman ask me to do a burnout on my scooter. Yes, people are so kind. I'm full, but... We're gonna do this. <laughs> I think we're gonna get through seven, right? Well, we did seven last year, so we at least have to do seven. We at least gotta get through seven. We'd like eight, but we'll see how it goes. We're only human, y'all. So the first one that we have today is the Pucker Smash. And 
So this is a double smash patty with American cheese, fried onions, lettuce, tomato, ghost peppermints on toasted brioche. All right, love, you have the Puckers Smash. Yeah, this is quite a stacked up burger. Yeah, it is Cutting stacked up. those crispy onions. That burger's stacked. Look at it. Doing a little cross section on that. Somehow I did not butcher that. <laughs> I know, that's pretty great. Oh my. This is a hunch. That is going to be a hunch. Yes, indeed. Wow. That's quite the burger right there. We are burgered today. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Let me tell you, just from the, the look of the tomatoes, that is so fresh looking. Really nice looking tomatoes. Yes. All right. Oh, yeah. wow. That seemed more simplistic with a couple of nice touches to no, it. No, no, it is not. Okay. <laughs> He's over here going, you got some nuggets there? <laughs> yes, simplistic, but not. Dang, I like that. You really do. The habanero is habanero. Yeah, that's ghost pepper mayo. Ghost pepper mayo. It's there. Yeah. A little bit of heat going on. Okay. But the taste of the burger, the onions, the cheese, and the freshness of the tomato and the lettuce, and it's very fresh tomato. Yeah. So you're digging that. The flavor. Oh man, I really like this one. Okay. And this one might be in the running. <laughs> okay. Okay, anxious to see how you feel about this one. Okay. Right? <laughs> I see his eyes. Oh. Whoa. Holy cow. That is... The burgers are great. Yes. The fried onions give it that crispy texture you're looking for. And then that ghost pepper mayo is like a boom. I mean, it's just a hit to your taste buds. Great cheese. Great fresh veggies. You know what? Sometimes less is more. I, I, that's exactly how I felt and with in that. in this case, I think that's what we've got right here. Burgers might have a winner right here. Burger number six is from Loco Burro. It is the Quesadilla Burger. This is the Quesadilla Burger from Loco Burro. An ancho chili seasoned beef patty with chipotle aioli, shaved lettuce, pico de gallo, Mexican cheese, on toasted brioche, but that is, yes, a smoked bacon quesadilla in the middle. I've really been looking forward to this one. Last year, the local borough was so close to being my top favorite that it was just, I still, it still stands out in my memory as such a good burger. And this is the same spot we sat in last year. It is. And so this year, they look like they've taken it up even a further notch. Yes. They have a whole smoked bacon quesadilla. On the burger. On the burger. Can you get it there with one hand? Oh, yeah. Look at that That's masterpiece. It smells super yummy. Okay. That's a masterpiece of a burger right there. Looks beautiful. One from this side. <laughs> Gotta wipe your mouth on that one. <laughs> I think you wore as much of that one as you ate. <laughs> wow. All right, how was that? Hello, how are you? Like, you totally get that smoked bacon quesadilla. It's in there. What's the sauce? 
chipotle aioli, that's what it is. It's delicious. And the yeah. freshness of the vegetables and the pico de gallo. Oh yeah. Fresh pico. I love the flavor profile of this burger. Okay, okay. Love the quesadilla hanging. I love that, and you do taste that bacon. Oh, At least sure I found do. I did. I did. All right. Wow. So, the beef patty being seasoned with that ancho chili, yeah. I'm getting that right off the bat, and then the smoked bacon in the quesadilla just goes, and the bacon kind of washes over you, and then the chipotle aioli just goes, ooh, and gives you a little nice kick. Oh, this is a well put together burger. Every element of this is just the pico, fresh. Every element in this is necessary. This is very, very good. Burger number seven is at the Rampant Lion, the Little Bo Peep Sheep Burger. We are at the Rampant Lion, and this is Little Bo Peep's Sheep Burger Special. This is ground lamb mixed with ground beef on a homemade bap, which is literally just a British bun. Fried onion rings, spring mix lettuce, English white cheddar crumbles, pub spread, and HP sauce, which is, we found out, it's a little tangier than it's British A1. I think you were most excited maybe about this one. Yeah, it's a lamb burger, and Brian, the owner, said that they hand pack these burgers yes he's grinding the lamb and the beef it's a lamb and beef burger they made the buns too oh, and i smell it <laughs> oh. all right and these onion rings are hand breaded and you know what's unique about them they have a purple or red onion instead of your your traditional white or sweet onion okay and this bun y'all is like an english muffin yeah it is kind of like that. Look how big that is. Look at that. That is a beautiful burger right that there. That is awesome. All right, so I'm give it to me. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> okay, now to find a good... First of all, the aromatics on this burger are incredible. Oh, wow. <laughs> you haven't done that anywhere. No. You're going back in on that. Gosh. Talk to me. <laughs> Tell me some good stuff. First of all, that patty yeah. is absolutely hand packed because it's soft it's gotcha. like it like disintegrates in a way the mix of lamb and beef spot on perfect you're not getting too much of the lamb gaminess so if you don't like lamb you're not gonna like it's not over lamby okay. but you know it's there it's really really good over lamby that's a new <laughs> word over lamby gamey. you hit a new word <laughs> gamey but um <laughs> the the, the white cheddar yes is amazing i want to try it with a little bit of this how about the bread talk to me about the it's bread. like an english muffin you like that yeah probably a little more tender than an english muffin and they make those here awesome so let's try this they call it a bap what was the sauce bap. it's a <laughs> it's well, a bap like bap, bap. so what's the sauce called again hp sauce hp sauce it's like British A1. Yep. That's awesome. I don't know what's in the HP sauce, but. Are you digging? Chrissy likes it. Okay. 
This is the only place we have come that has, that we know, has hand cut fries. Yes. Put a little malt, malt vinegar, vinegar on those, and oh my. Okay, you gotta try this. Okay. Let's see what you think. The bun is fantastic right off the bat. I love the bun. I heard his run run. I heard his one one one. Okay. This burger right here is a burger I could eat whole and have no problem with. I mean, mm. The key to that, you're right. It's hand packed, you can tell it's hand packed. And the mix of beef and lamb is just an HP sauce. It's over the top. Red onion rings. That's amazing. That cheese, too. And that sharp, uh, that sharp English, cheddar, English cheese. cheddar cheese. But you know what really just brings all that together? The bun. Yeah. That is a homemade bun. It's, they that call reminds it a me. Bath. <laughs> It, bat, we like, learned a new bat, word bat, today. Bat. <laughs> it reminds me of, of a a mix between focaccia and English muffin. That's what it reminds yeah. me of. Yeah, I guess it, you're right on that. It's soft and it's just it's soft, but you know what? It really holds up. That yeah, that's really what well. I like about it. Like the integrity of the bun is amazing compared to that burger. You know what? Ringy dingy on that. That is. I could eat 10 of those this week and feel just fine. That's amazing. All right, so let's go ahead and do full disclosure first. This is number seven. Yeah, burger seven. We were gonna go for eight. Guys, we can't do it. Too many. Even we cannot eat eight burgers in one that, day. That's right. It's just too much, but gosh, there have been some major, major, contenders and folks who have upped their game this year we have not had a single burger that was not fantastic that's right and that is the truth um starting at little house of pancakes i did not set a high bar for little house of pancakes but that was super good and the, the it was just a really good burger i enjoyed it and then we went to the Vista Grill. We'd never been to the Vista Grill. Oh my gosh, that burger was huge and delicious and very good. Everything, yeah. the brisket that was on it was delicious. Um, that smoked Gouda Pimento cheese, fantastic. And then we went to the Park Grill. And I really, really think the quality of their meat is wonderful. And those mac and cheese bites, when I go back to the Park Grill, I'm definitely ordering those again. Yes. And then we went to Boudicca's. Oh my gosh, Boudicca's. The Scotch egg. I've never had one before. If you've never had one before, you're missing out. Definitely get up to Boudicca's this week because that burger is amazing. Fire. It it's sure amazing. is. amazing. Just everything about it. And then... <laughs> We went to Local Borough, which was also hosting Puckers Burger. And both of those burgers were fantastic. The quesadilla, uh, what was that? And the smash. And the smash burger from Puckers. <laughs> both fantastic. Uh, last year, um, Local Borough's was definitely in the running for top burger. And now we are at the Rampant Lion in the Glades here in Gatlinburg. And for me, it is Gold Fork. <laughs> this is the winner for me, hands down. Not even a question. Yeah. So fresh. The mix of the lemon and beef are wonderful. The purple onion rings, that is so different. 
And then the back, the back bun, amazing. And then that, is it English cheddar cheese? English cheddar. English cheddar cheese, it's very, it's very sharp, and it just hits you in the mouth. And then the, what is the sauce? HP sauce. The HP sauce, amazing. And I will go ahead and give a shout out for their fries. They were great. Hand cut fries, best fries we had all day. So, go for it for me on here. Very close is Boudicca's and Little House of Pancakes and <laughs> the Puckers Burger. Like those three were just like very, like Boudicca's edges that out just a little bit for me. Mm-hmm. We didn't have a bad burger. No. So any one of them that you get, I think you would be satisfied with. We certainly were. Picking a winner was hard until I took a bite of this one and then I just knew. I knew this was it. Yes. So, until Gatlin Burger Week 2025, <laughs> I'm going to let Brooks close us out. So, seven in one day was attainable again. But eight... Can't do it. Can't do it. So... <laughs> we're full. Uh, we're full as ticks. We have a mutual agreement on Top Burger. And we saved the best for last. We didn't know that. But we did because this lamb burger here, let me tell you what. Little Bill Pete, don't be sheepish about this burger. It is amazing. From the bun to the meat to the cheese to the sauce, that's an incredible burger. To the purple fact, onion ring. We give it the Burger Candle Award. It's a major <laughs> award. So. Burger Candle Award. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Gallon Burger Week 2024. We did complete the challenge, so we are Burger Masters again this year. Um, so, while Rampant Line was number one, I would definitely say two and three are very, very close for me. Two and three are almost a tie. Uh, Vista Grill, the brisks, brisks to Tower. And Wadika is a uh, uh, Scotch bonnet, Scotch bonnet yeah. burger. That tied for me. Um, Puckers would have been a close third then after that. But guys, if you're still in town this week and you have the opportunity to come out and get this little Bo Peep burger, you need to do it because it is amazing. The atmosphere in here at the Rampant Line is amazing. Brian was amazing. His kitchen staff was amazing. Everybody was awesome. We had a great time. What a way to finish off Gatlinburger Week. Now. This was a really happy surprise. Like, we had no idea they even served food. Yes. <laughs> we're going to be back here for a full review. For sure. And we're very excited about that. So, uh, also, so, now that we have finished our challenge, you have the opportunity to win my prize pack. That's right. The sticker, the candle, the shirt, the whole deal. It's a keychain this year, too. There is a Gatlinburger keychain yep. this year, too. So you have the opportunity to win my prize bag. And here's all you have to do in the comments. Just tell us what your favorite burger was and just tag Gatlinburger Week. That's all you have to say. Tell so, us which burger looked the best to you yep. that we ate. Yep. And yeah, tell tag us which Gatlinburger one Week. Was your favorite burger and then just hashtag Gatlinburger Week. So, and that will enter you in. We will draw that winner on an upcoming live stream. So, uh, Connor, thanks thanks to Connor man, for his help today. Uh, he was only able to be with us for the first three, but he did another great job, of course, reviewing today. Uh, even in the rain, we've had a very fun day. So, it's been fun. Uh, we've uh, met a lot of cool people, and it's just been fun. So. We hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give us a big thumbs up, smash that like button, and make sure you've subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. I'm not really sure why you haven't. So, what are you waiting what for? What are you waiting for? That's right. And make sure to ring your name, hit that notification bell, so that you're notified every time we've got new content posted. But for now, for Connor, who was with us, for Christy, I'm Brooks. We just want to say, God bless you all. We love you. And we can't wait to show you what's next. We are absolutely full. (laughs) That's an understatement.
Have a great day, guys. And if you're in the area, go check out some Gatlin Burgers. Not a bad one in the bunch. So we're just going to go over quickly how you can use um, and enter the Gatlin Burger Week Challenge. You're going to download the Visit Gatlin Burger app and go to Challenges and choose uh, Gatlin Burger Week. And that will show you all of the participating restaurants. There are 19 this year. As you saw, we did seven in one day. Yep, we are a little bit crazy. So you can check into each place as we showed prior on the video. And you just get in there on the app and go to the Gatlin Burger Week.